Good morning, everybody. Um, gonna go ahead and do some summoning today. As you can see, I've got quite a good amount of charms. Now, most of these did come from the Steel Dragon, so if you guys are looking for a method of good charms, go check out my two. I've actually got two of them. Go check out both of those Steel Dragon videos, and um, you'll learn about them. One thing I didn't include in that that I should have, but I'm gonna say it now. They drop three at a time, so they do drop the most. Okay, the um, from like I, <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna say this. All right, I'm gonna say the charm from order of first to last, and the first being the highest percentage that they drop. So like they drop green the most. Oh yeah, I could have just said it like this. Damn, I really confused myself. They drop green the most, then they drop crimson the most, then they drop gold the most, and then they drop blue the least. And when I say most, I mean most often. They always drop three at a time, like no matter what charm you're you're going for. So, um, yeah. Ugh. Now my method that I use for doing this is um. Okay, yeah. Oops. Yeah, I um. Infused, what are you doing? There we go, and I completed the, um... Oh, man, I better go turn that in now while I think of it. Okay, well, I guess I gotta turn in this task. But anyways, <clears throat> I, um... I, um... What I do is I sell the stuff to this guy. Well, the, the guy that's there. And then I just buy it back off of him, and then once I buy it back, I make the pouches, and then I sell the pouches. It is quite a loss, <clears throat> but it's also much faster than, um, than, um, buying the stuff. Oh, 14 magic blobs, whatever. I'll just bank these. Then buy, or banking them, I'm sorry. It's much easier than trying to go and bank them and then um, going back and doing it all over again. It's a it's a huge pain in the ass when you do it that way. So, um, and I got a lot of summoning XP for that. Holy crap! Thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighty XP. So yeah, I just do it that way so I don't have to constantly go back and bank because it is really annoying to have to do that. So yeah, and uh, one thing that really bothered me is I'm making the Arctic Bears pouches. Yeah, the Arctic Bear pouches. I spent over one mil on these 500 furs. I mean, look at the price of these. 1.6 mil, that's ridiculous. I remember when they were like 1k each and you made 28k in inventory. Of course, it was a while ago, but still. So maybe I'm going to have to go out and hunt some of these because that's really good XP. I also have to do a farming run, so <clears throat> can't forget that because I've actually been slacking <coughs> off on farming lately, and I've not been doing too well. But yeah, it's whatever, I guess. Okay, so let's just do pot of flowers for now. Usually I'll sell 50, but I'm not really in the mood to do it that way right now. And these really aren't good XP at all, to be completely honest. They're actually crap. 10, 20, bye, okay, so, while I'm doing this, I might as well just say, yeah, green, or, um, not green, damn, um, buy one, confirm, buy one, okay, the steel dragons are, like, the, um, greatest, oops, the greatest, um, method for charms, really, Okay, obviously not, but for all around charms, it's like the greatest. It's honestly awesome. Like, they drop charms almost every time, and you're always getting three each time. So, it's really, really, really awesome. I, I absolutely love going to Steel Dragons now. And I was actually there for quite some time. And as you can see, I gained almost 200k defense XP. And most of that was today, and it didn't even take long at all. It was honestly extremely quick. So, um, I would definitely suggest going there. If you want good XP and you want, um, I guess, okay, yeah, that should work. Yeah, I shouldn't need to buy any more, or, 
shards at least for a while. Um, I would definitely suggest going there because it is a, a great charms method and the and uh, XP method. But if you don't know about them, go check out my video and you will know more. Now, one thing I that I've had on my mind that I really think Jagex should. Oh shit! I just sold too many. Oh well, I guess it's all good. One thing I think Jagex should look into. Like, they did say that this year is going to be our year, like, you know, for the players and whatnot. I think they need to look in fixing a lot of things that really irritate players. Like, I think what they need to do, or what they should do at least, is they need to come up with a, like, smart way to walk. And what I mean by that is, if you're fighting something, and you killed it, and then you start fighting something else, and you want to pick up the first drop like from the first thing that you killed they need to devise a way to be able to do that without having to go into the path of the other without having to click each individual step that you want to go so let's say um i kill ma mage sticks right and now i start fighting pickup sticks okay and i'm over right at the, the corner of the rug so i'm right about here Okay, but there's a thing in the middle. I shouldn't have to completely click my way to go there. Jagex should edit it so that your guy automatically takes a smart route and goes around and doesn't go near pickup sticks. Because I noticed when I was fighting steel dragons, a lot of the times my guy would just walk in the way of the dragon and then he would just get attacked by the dragon completely and just completely get annihilated. And I was like... You know, wh why does that happen? Why does Jagex not edit that and make it so you do a smart route? And um, I, I guess I didn't level up yet. I thought I would have, but <clears throat> I'm close, so that works. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Why did I sell? Why did I sell a shark? Didn't mean to do that. Sharks go for the green, I believe, because I think I'm making bunyips. Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to need to buy another one of these. Yes. I'm spending so much money on summoning right now, it is not even funny, but I guess it's worth it. Um, so yeah, I really think that Jagex should definitely look into that. That would be awesome. Another thing they need to work on is the lag. I hate lagging so much. Like, I have good internet. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I forgot. I, I shift over. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me again jeez i have good internet not like super amazing internet but my internet's good i lag a lot and it's not my internet because i can play in a place where there's crappy internet and i'll lag a lot wait hang on let me make sure i'm saying this right because i don't think i am um Okay, yeah, 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 like, I can play somewhere where there's not good internet, and I'll lag a lot, but then when I have great internet, I still lag. No, no, I don't lag a lot, I lag a little, that's what I meant. I meant, not a lot, that's why it didn't make any sense in my head. Like, I, I lag in my, like, I lag in my head, yeah, I do lag in my head, but that's not what I was trying to say. Um, <laughs> you know, I'll lag with bad internet and with good internet, and that, that, that doesn't make any sense. Why, why is it like that? Why does not? Why does Jagex not fix that? Because that's so annoying. And okay, I guess I have to buy another one and another one. God, these are really blowing my money off. Blowing my money off. I am not making any sense today. People don't listen to me. I don't make any sense when I talk. Okay, well, I'm just gonna be able to get 72 summoning. I'm not gonna be able to get um, 73 like I wanted. I thought I had enough charms, but I, I don't now that I look at it, um, which is quite disappointing. I was really hoping to level. I actually need to buy like 500 more. Yeah, whatever. Wait, did I not buy 500? Oh, shit. Okay, I guess that's not that big a deal because I won't have to buy any more for a while. But I did not mean to buy 5,000 pouches, but <coughs> I guess that works. So what I'm going to be doing is finishing up here, and then going back to green steel dragons, getting more charms, and hopefully getting like 73 summoning within like today. Hopefully that's like my goal. 
So, yeah, smart routes and no lag. Like, that's what Jagex really should improve on. And I think also they should make a few more teleport locations because uh, I, I really don't like having to go, like, to somewhere and then have to run all the way to where I really want to go. That's completely aggravating. Just because I have to run so freaking far. <clears throat> or they should make it where they have a guy, right? And this guy... Okay, I just came up with a great idea. And I think Jagex should look into this. Jagex wants to come up with ways to eliminate money out of the game. Because there's too much money floating around right now. Like off, you know, people outking and everything. All that money comes into the game. And, um, all that stuff. So Jagex has been looking for, like, a pool to put the money in so that some of the money goes away from the game so that st money's actually worth more than it is. Well, I mean, it goes back to how it used to be. So, what they ought to do is put an NPC in. A brand new NPC. Put them in, um... <clears throat> or maybe make a group of them and put them all in like super high density locations where like everyone is okay and you pay them a certain amount like maybe 5k or something just you don't want to do too much because then nobody will actually use it so maybe not even 5k but not like 10 GP either like you know a reasonable amount and it will teleport you to any place on the map like you basically just click where you want to go and it will teleport you there as long as you have like the requirements and everything and you don't pay until you've all like like until you teleport so you don't like pay click it find out you can't go and you just wasted the money like it doesn't work like that cool I leveled up all right finally 72 I wonder nope still level 194 oh cool I can have a Phoenix this requirement cool okay so I really think that that would honestly be like the I, I honestly think that would really work if they really did that um, yeah that's all you do is make it so that you just pay the person where you want to go and then and then you're good like you know it, it takes money out of the game and it would help people get to where they want to go and you can't teleport to like, um, damn, I need more again? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. You can't teleport to anywhere where like, uh, like you can't teleport into like, um, the Bando's throne room, for instance. Like, right to General Grouder. Like, you can't do stuff like that. Because obviously that would not be fair. Like, that, that would cheat out everything. So, you know, it, it's obviously not going to work like that. But it would work like, um, let's say I wanted to go to Canifus, right? Instead of having to walk all the way there, you could just teleport. What the fuck? What the hell? Why can I not make these? Polar Kevin. Oh, yeah, I forgot to unnote it. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, what the fuck did I just do? Did I just waste my money? But no, I did not. So I'm good. Okay, I think they should do that. That would help reduce all the like inflation with RuneScape GP because really that's it's all inflated. Like money's not worth crap anymore because high alking and all that crap has completely depleted the worth of RuneScape GP. And I think if Jagex honestly looked into doing that, they would um. They would not only help out the RuneScape community really a lot, but they would also help themselves out. Because, like, a lot of the reason why gold farming exists is because there's so much money there. Like, it's so easy to get. But if you made something that did that, um, one, it would make it a bit harder for the gold farmers. And two, the gold farmers would have to charge more. Like, people buy that money because it's so cheap. It's like 50 cents a mil. Like, that's why people do it. So if you um, take that out and you make it so they have to charge like a dollar a mil or two dollar a mil or something like that, then less people are going to buy the money from them because 
you know, nobody wants to go out and spend two dollars a mil. Like, I mean, obviously people will, but the amount of people that would do it would be so de like dramatically decreased that it wouldn't even be funny. <clears throat> so that's what they really ought to do. And I'm not saying that Jagex should um, should go and make it so it's so hard to come by money because then that'll just screw up everyone else. Yeah, that was weird. They should just make it so they have a pool so that those bot farmers can't just go out, hunt chinchampas or whatever they do. I don't even think they still do that, but I'm not sure what they do. And then just, boom, instantly sell it. Like, You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys know what I mean. I think that would be a genius method. And I think I just got screwed. Let me look. I think I'm going to have three gold charms that I can't produce. No, I think I have too many. Okay, well, now I've got two. <laughs> so, yeah, I really think Jagex should look into that. I think it would help out all of the RuneScape community, and RuneScape would just be better off. And I, another thing that I wonder is, how's it going to work when the 2007 servers come back? Like, How, how is that going to be? Because... You know, obviously, you can't trade over anything. Obviously, if you make a new account, you can still have the same information. But, you know, um, um, damn, lost my train of thought. Yeah, you can still have the same like username and password, but you can't trade over anything. You're restarting all that. So I wonder if gold farming is going to switch to that game too, since I know a lot of players are going to be playing that. But I do know it will be harder in the new servers because Jagex did state they're going to have a zero tolerance for any, like, you know, flower gambling, any any of that stuff. They will have a zero tolerance for that. Like, if you do it, you're done. You're banned. They don't even, you know, question it. But what, what, why, what I, little, little, little. what I do wonder is... Are you just going to be banned from the 2007 server or banned from RuneScape altogether? Um, that information I've not found out if it's both or not. But I, I would like to know if the people are just going to be banned from the 2007 server or not. Because I think if they were banned from RuneScape altogether, that would really make it so that nobody bots. Like, nobody would be botting. Why did I say botting? I meant to say um, gambling. That's what I meant. Although I think if they implemented the same rule for botting, it would work too. <sighs> yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to be getting 73 on this trip. I'm coming close, but I'm not going to get it. I'm going to be off by probably about 30k XP or so. Although we'll see. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely not going to make it. I need more charms. And the only charms that I have are blue ones, and I'm actually trying to save those for, like, uh, a better time. Because they are good XP, but they're also a bit harder to come by. So, I don't know. Mm, yeah, I'm not close enough that I want to use them. If I was, like, 5k XP off, yeah, I would just go ahead and use them. Because, um, well... That'd be super easy. I would just get it and not have to worry about it. But Plus, I do honestly want to go back to Steel Dragons because I do want to get a new defense level. I'm 44k XP off, so might as well go back. Won't take too long to level. It'll actually take about 5 minutes to level. It's, okay, a little bit more than 5 minutes, but it's really quick XP there. So I'm so glad I decided to go back the other day and... I didn't even have a good reason, like, honestly, like, I just was like, oh, I'm bored, I might as well just go to Steel Dragons, and it ended up being, the, like, the greatest decision, because I ended up finding out that, like, Steel Dragons are, like, such good XP, it's ridiculous, and, wow, that one extra gold charm that I took actually was, I actually have a leftover gold charm, <laughs> that's funny, okay, well, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Go tell everyone you know that I make the best videos in the world so that you can help me get more subscribers and get more feedback and, you know, make my videos as spectacular as possible. Once again, if you would like to know how to get good charms and how to get, get good XP, 
go ahead and go check out my Steel Dragon videos. They have some good information in them, and you will learn how to get good XP and good charms. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all take care. And for the love of God, why is there iguana poop on my computer?